you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have our final two figures in Elite Series 65 to cover, guys. We're going to cover Eric Young and Rowdy Ronda Rousey. These are the last two in the set, and that does mean that not only are we going to review these two, but we're going to be ranking every figure from worst to best in Elite Series 65, and it's going to be epic sauce that will come at the end of the video. But first, we do have to take a look at Eric Young and Ronda Rousey to find out where they rank among the other figures in the set. But first time in the line, Eric Young, very excited to get our Sanity Collection started. And this is our second ever Ronda Rousey figure. And we're going to compare her to her other figure, so that should be interesting to see. But here you have both their viewing windows. Both of them do look cool inside the packaging, but we're not a mock collector. So let's go ahead and get this packaging done so that we can crack them open. Of course, you have their names on the sides. On the back, you do have a nice picture of Rowdy, Ronda Rousey, and Eric Young. Got some career highlights on there. And you can read up their little read-ups if you'd like to pause it now. We do have a nice picture of Eric Young, a picture of Ronda Rousey, and that pretty much covers their packaging, guys. So let's go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and break them out of their packaging. So here we have Eric Young and Rowdy Ronda Rousey out of their packaging. Guys, looking pretty freaking nice. I'm super excited for Eric Young. I think that they did a really good job on all his details, and we're going to take a closer look at that later on. Um, I think that Ronda Rousey is a strong figure. It's solid. You know, it's a good little uh, figure. We're going to compare it to her other basic, and we're going to see how they fare against each other. But um, at first glance, I think that both of these are very nice. We're going to take a closer look at Ronda Rousey's accessories and then Ronda Rousey, and then we'll take a closer Closer look at Eric Young's accessories and Eric Young himself. So that is the order we're going to go in. So let's go ahead and hit it. So for Ronda Rousey's accessories, guys, we do get some pretty cool stuff here. We get a the first thing, of course, you do get Ronda Rousey's WWE contract. That is the first little thing. It's just like the uh, the one that uh, the Hall of Champions Batista came with from WrestleMania 21, except it has the more accurate logos because that one uh, should have had the scratch logo and they used the new logo, so it really made no sense at all. But you do get her contract if you ever wanted to do that for your pick feds or recreate the moment where she signed her contract and then put Stephanie through the table, then you could do that. You do also get a pin accessory that we have seen with Chris Jericho. We've seen it with the Festival of Friendship. We've seen it with other people, I'm pretty sure. So we have that. And then we get the nice, notorious table that uh, she put Stephanie McMahon through on her opening night on Monday Night Raw. I think that was her debut on Raw. But they did this a little bit differently. They did not make it just one flat sheet that you know you can stretch out or whatever. They actually made it like conform to the table. So you can actually take that off and you do have a black solid table. It's got the WWE logo on there. This is pretty much just like the one that I think the, the Dudley boys came with. I think that's the, you know, the same mold and everything. Not a lot of detail going on, just a flat black table. Got the uh, nice logo and everything going there. But yeah, this is kind of weird. They didn't make it just one straight sheet. They like stitched the sides so that it can actually conform to the table as you guys saw just a second ago. So that's kind of cool. You know, they, it's better than giving us just, you know, one big plastic table or not giving us a sheet at all. I think it's kind of cool. You know, you could use this for your shows or, um, I don't know, some creative people out there can do something with that. But that is that. And that's pretty much everything for Ronda Rousey's access accessories, guys. But now that we have the table laid out, let's go ahead and put Nia Jax through it. Nice. So taking a closer look at Ronda Rousey, guys, here is her head scan. And I think it's a decent head scan. I don't know if I like it better than her basic. We're going to have to take a look at that later on. Um, in the next segment, but I think I do like it. I like that it's a little bit different. You know, it's not exactly the same, so we're again, we'll take a closer look at that. Going down into the chest, they actually decided to give her the old jacks method, where they give you the rubber jacket and they make the sleeves a molded jacket sleeve. That way, um, you know, if you take this off, it'll be like molded jacket sleeves with a regular t-shirt torso. So that's kind of cool that they did that. Um, for this figure, it's a bit different than her basic. They actually gave her a little bit different look. Um, I kind of wish it was her WrestleMania 34 attire. I want an in-gear, you know, wrestling gear Ronda Rousey figure, so hopefully, you know, that will come soon. I know we're getting it with the Ultimate Edition, you know, with the Ultimate Warrior there, the first two, and that figure is going to be really, really sweet. So I'm kind of glad they're waiting, but at the same time, I kind of want one right now. So that is sort of the give and take there. You do have the Rowdy Ronda Rousey logo on the shirt. Still has that, does it have that bra mold on it? Uh, no, it doesn't. It actually does not have that bra mold. So it actually does look like she's wearing a t-shirt instead of just having, um, you know, they usually just 
use that same bra mold and then they uh, put the logos and paint over it and it looks really dumb but going down into the legs you got solid black legs you got you know just her regular jeans or whatever you want to call these and this is where the figure is kind of disappointing and it really hurts it in my opinion she has no ankle rotation this is an elite figure and you don't have any ankle rotation and just single jointed at the ankle there's no ankle pivot and when you turn the foot the whole leg turns I think that is a big disappointment I do not like that at all and her feet really make it hard for her to stand I'm gonna be honest with you guys they're kinda loose and um, I know they're standing right here but I swear to goodness it was kinda hard to get her to stand there so that's kinda disappointing she does get you know good leg articulation though so that is good um, she can widen out and all that stuff so she can roundhouse kick somebody in the face I'm sure if you wanted her to so that is Ronda Rousey guys but uh, now let's get into some Ronda Rousey elite figure comparisons so here's the new elite 65 Ronda Rousey up next to her basic 90 figure here that says hot Ronda and then you have the rowdy Ronda Rousey so they're a little bit different you can see the head scans are a bit different which one do you like more I honestly kind of like them the same I mean they both have good likeness they're both not perfect and they have their own unique look you can see here by this figure it does have that bra mold then they just painted over it so that's what I'm talking about it's kind of weird looking but I guess it kind of makes sense you know when women wear bras when you put their t-shirt over their bra you can kind of see the outline of the bra so I guess that makes sense but at the same time I don't know uh, with the legs uh, they did do this a bit differently she actually has ankle rotation on this figure and not on her elite which is kind of weird considering this is an elite but they are two different molds from the waist down and I'm not sure guys let me know down in the comment section below which one do you like better elite 65 or the basic 90 I'd love to hear from you guys on that but now that we've covered that guys let's go ahead and get into Eric Young's accessories so getting into Eric Young's accessories, guys, you do get interchangeable hands, and these are not like the You Can't See Me hands or the open hands that Rusev or Finn Balor or John Cena came with. These are more of like just, I don't know what you'd call this, like a Lord Tensai hand or a Kerry Von Eric hand. It's sort of like that mold where it's sort of like, I don't know, kind of like a relaxed hand, I guess, but it's not really relaxed. It's like sitting on a throne hand is sort of what you could call it, you know, like you're gripping the sides of a throne. I don't know what to call it, but these are pretty nice. I don't think we've seen these before in this line as far as interchangeable hands are concerned we got his little face mask which we are going to take a look at i guess we can try and plug it on right now just to see if it'll go on there so yeah it clips on there pretty good i like that i'm digging that kind of grips his beard there so that works very nice you get that and then you have his highly detailed hooded vest thing that sort of uh, is kind of weird because it it has the hood so it's kind of like the tyson kid mold i think that's the one that came with the hooded vest there but it actually has like some details here that you know makes it wrinkled so it's not completely a circular shape it kind of gives it sort of a sanity look to it if you want to say that you got all kinds of detail going on with this vest pretty freaking nice you got all these arrows and paint and all these stars and stuff going on i love the camo look and the blue and everything very nice de detailed vest um, I kind of wish that the hood could come off, but at the same time, when is this hood ever down? So I think it works both ways. You got the Canada flag on there. You got a lot of cool stuff going on. So very nice vest that comes with Eric Young, and it's kind of big on him, so it's kind of easy to take off. It's not, you know, a pain in the butt to take off, so I do like that a lot. So you do get a decent amount of accessories with Eric Young, but now let's take a closer look at the man himself. So taking a closer look at Eric Young, guys, I think they nailed this likeness. I am very happy with the head sculpt. It kind of looks like one of the bushwhackers but I think they did capture his likeness a lot. I am happy with the way Eric Young turned out. One thing I will talk about though is I think that his beard and his hair is too uh, dark in my opinion. I think that it, they could have went with a browner slash redder tone or oranger tone. I think that his beard is way too black if you look on the back of the box and you look at his hair on the packaging. I mean he's clear, he clearly has lighter hair than this or it's not near this dark but not a huge huge deal. Going down into the torso we do get a little bit of paint scuffing on the chest but I can pretty sure I can get that off no worries there um, I don't know how I feel about this torso I mean I feel like it works for Eric Young like I know that he's pretty I mean he's he's got some good jack to him but at the same time you look at the back of the packaging and uh, are you guys seeing this I mean I don't know I know he's not exactly flexing right there but at the same time I don't know I don't know what I feel about it I mean I don't think it's bad by any means but maybe the Seth Rollins torso or maybe I don't know, the Bo Dallas torso maybe have worked better, or maybe even the Daniel Bryan could have worked. I'm not sure, but I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on that down below. Going down into the tights, you do get some really cool designs. I love his arrows and the colors they use for this, the army green with the arrows and everything. Really love the Sanity logo on the back. I love their logo so much. It looks really cool. You got his nice detailed tattoos, all this bright colors coming through. Very strong tattoo on the back of the shoulder as well. 
and I really do like this figure, guys. There's a ton of stuff going on with it, a ton of like new things, and the biggest new thing is down here in the boots, guys. Look at these nice knee pads, first of all, and then right below the knee pads. It's really cool because they had to create a new mold because he does this weird things with his boots where he doesn't lace them up all the way, so the flaps are always down, and how sick is this, guys? The yellow shoestrings really bring out the boots, but they gave him like the lower legs of Neville, and then they, I guess they made these like a new, it's like basically a kick pad mold, but it's obviously not a kick pad, it's a sock with his boots unlaced, and it looks very sick. So it's kind of like if you took the Kevin Owens boot mold, where he has the socks, and you uh, untied the boots, this is sort of what that would look like. It doesn't rotate at the lower part, but it does rotate at the, at the calf right there. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I think they did a good job on that. The mechanic works well, and I, I like it a lot. So that's pretty cool. It's the first time that we've seen that. I'm pretty sure if anybody else has that, I would love to know who, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time. So that looks good on Eric Young. Really like this. I think that Eric Young is a very strong figure. It's going to be really cool to see where he comes out as we rank this set, guys. So uh, since he doesn't have any comparisons, we have nothing to compare him to. Since we haven't reviewed Nikki Cross, since we haven't gotten Killian Dane or Alexander Wolf yet, guys, we can move on to ranking the entire Elite 65 set. All right, guys, so it is time to rank this set from worst to best in my personal opinion. To be honest, it wasn't that difficult. I thought that this set was pretty fairly, you know, in your face and simple, but let's go ahead and rank them. Coming in at the worst spot has got to be Nia Jax. I'm just not a personal fan of hers, guys, so, I mean, it was kind of easy to per put her at the lowest she also um, you know women's figures aren't that great in general they don't have the best articulation they don't have the best range of motion and this is a decent you know figure however I'm not a fan of Nia Jax so she came in at number six in my opinion number five we do have Ronda Rousey and I would like to put her higher on the list but this set was pretty strong you know I mean as far as the rest and her ankles are kind of weak you know she's kind of difficult to stand up and um, stuff like that so that is why Ronda Rousey comes in at number five so those are the two lowest coming in at number Number four, this is where I kind of had some iffy stuff, but I went ahead and went with Aiden English. Though I do like this figure a lot, I am a fan of this figure, and I do recommend getting this figure. You get the cloth accessory, you get the cool hand, you get a slew of accessories, to be honest. But um, at the end of the day, I just didn't think it was as strong as the other three in the set, and the glasses would not go on the head, so I didn't want to put him too high. Coming in on number three, guys, we have my boy Rusev. I love this figure as far as uh, from the neck down. I think it's a perfect figure, but that head scan just could not put it any higher guys if this had been you know a better head scan we may be looking at the number one spot but since that head scan just droops for me his eyes just this looks like rusev's granddad in the face i'm gonna try to repaint the eyes or the head sculpt and see what i can come up with but as far as uh ranking it number three was fair in my opinion coming in at number two this one was tough but i officially went with eric young eric young you know he had some cool molds we do get the new boot mold we get a lot of great details i think that his face scan's amazing. I know that the beard wasn't the most accurate, and the torso isn't my favorite choice. I don't know what, I, what I'm feeling on that, but the rest of this figure, you know, did beat out Rusev and the other four in the set, so that is why Eric Young comes in at number two. And for number one, we had to go with the big dog, an Elite 65 Roman Reigns. I think that, you know, he did, fa he, he did win this thing. I think that it's a perfect figure head to toe. You know, we've seen these molds before. We've seen a lot of things. I know that his tattoo's not always the best, but that head sculpt is pretty much impossible to beat and I like the attire overall and he comes with an intercontinental title and cool interchangeable hands so I felt like the big dog belonged at the top of the list and that is why he is the number one figure in Elite Series 65. I would love to know your thoughts on the worst to best. What do you think is the best figure in Elite 65? Overall judging the set I think it's a solid set you know I, I'm not a big fan of women's figures in Elite lines because they don't really you know do much for the set they don't really you know have the same articulation as the men so you kind of get cheated out of articulation and stuff so uh, that kind of bums me out that there's two women's figures in this set but the four men's figures I think are pretty strong I mean you have your iffy head scans on you know uh, Rusev that's not a very good scan but the rest of the wave I mean is solid so I think Elite 65 isn't near as good as Elite 64 but it's a solid set overall but that pretty much does it for this two-in-one Elite figure review on the brand new Elite 65 Eric Young and Ronda Rousey figure 
figures. Guys, I hope you guys also enjoyed the ranking of Elite 65 from worst to best. I would love to know your thoughts on both of these figures and that ranking and what you think of the two best figures or the best figure overall in Elite Series 65. Starting tomorrow, we will be starting on reviewing Elite Series 66. We're going to start off with Kurt Angle and AJ Styles, I do believe. So definitely look out for that. Overall, I think Ronda Rousey is a solid figure. If you missed out on Basic Series 90, I would suggest go ahead and getting Elite Series 65 Ronda Rousey just because, you know, if you didn't get Basic Series 90, then you definitely want to grab a Ronda Rousey for your collection. I think that it is a must. I think that Ronda Rousey belongs in every WWE figure collection, so I would definitely recommend getting her. As far as Eric Young goes, guys, I mean, Sanity is a great little set, and if you want them in your pick feds and stuff, and, you know, we don't really have any, we, we, we're waiting on the rest of the members of Sanity to come out, so if you pick up Eric Young, you are going to have to be getting Nikki Cross, Alexander Wolf and Killian Dane when they drop. So be prepared for that. If you get a, if you get Eric Young, you got to get the rest of them. So keep that in mind when purchasing Eric Young. But overall, I think both figures are solid. You guys saw them ranked and everything, so you guys can give your ultimate opinion of the two figures. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.